Dodgeball. It's not just any sport. It's a high adrenaline, heart pumping game that has been played for centuries. Initially, it was a life or death competition where only the strongest survived. Nowadays, it's a fiercely competitive team game where players use their agility, speed, and strength to dodge and attack their opponents. With the clock ticking and the pressure on, every move counts. It's a thrilling and exciting way to get fit and have fun. Good morning, Oak Mountain. I'm Cole Prater, here with Judah Hensley. Judah, you're, in, you're playing in the Dodgeball Tournament, and whose team are you on? I'm on your team. You're on my team? Yeah. You think we have a chance? Oh, yeah. Even against Mr. Frank's team? For sure. You know who's on there? It's like all the baseball kids. They're like a foot taller than us. I can catch. You can catch? Is that your, is that your only thing? You're not going to throw? You shouldn't have catch the whole time? Well, it depends on what team we're going against. If it's a bunch of baseball kids, then I feel like I'd probably have a better chance of catching. Okay. Thank you, Judah. For Oak Mountain Media, I'm Cole Prater. Thanks for tuning in. Good morning, Oak Mountain. I'm Cole Prater. Uh, here with Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood, you're one of the SJ sponsors, aren't you? That is correct. Yeah. And you're kind of the person I need to talk to for the dodgeball tournament? Yes, sir. We're having a dodgeball tournament uh, coming up in just a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Who would I have to talk to to get on a team? All right, if you want to join a team, you need to talk to an SGA representative or officer. Um, and the tournament itself is on March 22nd. It's the Friday before spring break. All right, is it 6th six six verse 7th, seven, 7th verse 8th? Uh, how does that, how do the teams match up? So this will be the first year we're doing it in school, and we'll have a 7th and 8th grade tournament in the morning, and then later in the afternoon we'll have a 6th grade only tournament. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wood. And um, is it going to be double or single elimination? Uh, it kind of depends on how many teams sign up. Uh, you know, if there's a lot of teams, it may have to be single, and if there's a few, it will be double. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun time for everybody, no matter what it is. So. Thank you, Mr. Wood. Yeah. Good morning, Oak Mountain. I'm Cole Prater, here with Mr. Franks and his dodgeball team. Mr. Franks, how are you feeling about the uh, dodgeball tournament and what's your strategy? I'm feeling really, really good. Um, so this is my team behind me. They're locked in. They're ready to go. Uh, we're talking strategy. We've been working since last year's tournament every single day. We've been putting in two-a-days before school around 4 a.m., after school, putting in the work, working on our throws. We're working on dodging. You might have seen some of these kids walking around in the hallway blindfolded. They're working on dodging other kids, if possible. And we're going to be ready to go. My team is built on three pillars. I call it PED, performance, excellence, and discipline. We're ready to go. All right, Mr. Franks, you finished third last year. Um, what, why didn't you get first? Like, what can you do, what can you change to make it better this year? Well, that's a bit of a sore subject. Um, last year's tournament, we got robbed. And look, I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus or anything, but our refs last year were eighth graders. Eighth grade team won. Uh, does that seem like a coincidence? To me, it, it doesn't. Um, so this year, it's no longer a sixth grade, seventh, and eighth grade tournament. It's just seven versus eight. And uh, we're going to be ready to go. So no more funny business this year. My team's locked in, ready to go. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah. All right, last year it was eighth graders. This year it's Coach Civils. What do you have to say about him? Does he intimidate you at all? Coach Civils couldn't intimidate me less. I have zero concern about Coach Civils' team. If Coach Civils even makes it out of the first round, that'll be the biggest upset since David beat Goliath. Okay, and if somehow Coach Civils' team does make it to the finals to play us, then he's going to realize he needs to stick to coaching golf and leave dodgeball to the real men. It's a great answer. And do you think you're taking this a little too seriously? A little too seriously? Let me ask you a question. You think Tom Brady takes football too seriously? No. You think Nick Saban takes it too seriously? A little bit. How about Michael Jordan in basketball? Picasso with art. Beethoven with music. Does that answer your question? Yes, sir. 
Alright, Frog Rap Media, I'm Cole Prater. Thanks for tuning in.